Chips and JCC is making sure that everyone has a chance to learn and get involved. Its inclusion programs are now underway and those with intellectual and physical disabilities are encouraged to sign up. Joining me today are Heather Verbeck, the programming assistant at Mayerson JCC, and of course, a city councilman, a, P, a member of PJ Sittenfield, uh, to make sure that you know about this program and how important it is. So first of all, February is a special month and you're gonna be extending these programs. Tell us how and why. That's right. So last year we actually had one month of programming at the Mayor's, or at the Mayerson JCC. Mm -hmm. This year we expanded it to three months because we had um, a lot of good feedback about the stuff that we were doing um, this past year. So this year we expanded our programming to include several different lectures, lunch and learns, and some keynote speakers. And how important is this issue to tackle, do you think, in the, in the Cincinnati community? Yeah, I think it's, it's huge, Megan. Thanks for having us on. Thanks to the mayors and JCC, especially to Paul Heldman and Debbie Kirshner for sponsoring this. We want to be a city where everyone can navigate city services. You know, anyone can work where they want to work. Anyone can, you know, recreate and seek entertainment where they want to do it. So it shouldn't be off limits to anybody, no matter their abilities. And one of the things that uh, Heather will share about the sort of main event as part of this inclusion series, but myself and the fairly new chief advocacy officer for aging and accessibility. He and I are teaming up to do a lunch and learn on our aging and accessibility program in the city of Cincinnati. All are welcome free. That one's going to be on Wednesday, March 7th, but we're not the main event. There's an even better main event. I was going to say, so you have a special guest speaker. We do. Ron Suskind, who is a Pulitzer Prize winning author who's written on a lot of different topics. He usually focuses on government, politics and policy. He wrote a very personal book back in 2014 about his family and then that was made into a movie in 2016. And it's about their journey with their son, Owen, who has autism. Wow. And um, they realized that through Disney movies and something called affinity therapy, they could reconnect with him using these films because he loves them and that was how he would be able to connect with them as a family. And when's that event going to be? That event is on March 12th at seven o'clock. It's okay. at the Mayerson JCC which if people don't know where that's located, that's at the corner of Ridge Road and Ronald Reagan Highway. The event is free and okay. open to the public. Wonderful. As all of the programs we've had for our disability inclusion programming events have been. So it sounds like it's gonna be a wonderful three months of programming and, and education and something I think that a lot of folks should would benefit from. And we had some information there on the screen for people that are interested in attending. Thank you both. We'll see everyone at the events. Thanks. Yes, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you.